Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? This is Michael the Fortune Teller, and this is Shadow Work Teller. Well, we put in that work, you feel me? I woke up with a little inspiration today. I ain't even gonna catch me down. You know what it was? F them haters. You feel me? That's exactly what it was, man. F them haters. Man, some folks just don't understand, man. Like, Hey, you can do your best, you feel? And they want to look at every little mistake you make, trying to make it seem like it is what it is. I ain't made no mistake. I ain't, I'm just saying, though, it shouldn't happen before. You feel? I don't know why I felt like that this morning, but I feel like somebody need to hear that high seas. So, we're going to pull some cards, have some advice. For the collective. Um, Y'all see my ball? It's my ball. I got a galaxy inside of it. It's pretty cool. I got abducted by, I got abducted, abducted? Abducted? Abducted. I got abducted by an alien when I was a kid. And they gave me this. You feel me? They gave me this. They say they ain't say what it was for or nothing. Yeah. I just like that thought of having a galaxy in my hand. It makes you think, right? Yeah. Maybe somebody's holding our galaxy in their hand right now. I don't know. Anyway. I got my candles lit and the cards been cleansed already. These are my favorite cards. <coughs> got them from a black cat in the back alley in the black of night. Tell me. Real. Alice in Wonderland kind of feel. Wanna do a three card spread. Just advice. General advice, whatever spirit wants us to know. Queen of Swords. Got the Queen of Swords yesterday. We standing on business. The Sun in Pisces, too. I forgot about that. So, use your intuition, man. I mean, like, stand on it. Stand on it. Hmm. What spirit want me to say? The Queen of Swords is known by 11. That's intuition. So, you coming at something with a sharp mind and a clear understanding. Whatever you looking at is this. You using your strategies. You using very good strategies and maneuvers to overcome your situation. That's very good. Queen of Swords energy. You know what I feel when I see this Queen of Swords? I showed y'all this yesterday. For real. But she got she got her hand behind her back. You feel me? That means keep your hands clean. Keep your little cat paw or something. You know, alright. Let me give you an example. Say like in one of those gangster movies, you feel me? Well, they got a little homeboy that's like, <clears throat> I'm going to do this, so you ain't got to do it. You feel me? Uh, I'm going I'm to I'm get my hands dirty so you don't have to dirty your hands with this. That's, that's Queen of Swords energy. That's your current situation. But what you don't see is the Wheel of Fortune. 
You see the Wheel of Fortune card? It's kind of like hypnosis. It's kind of like diving into a rabbit hole. You know? It's kind of like wiki and <clears throat> a spiral into infinity. For what you for what you don't see, like for Wheel of Fortune, it's like Some things are out of your control. Right? You're not going to... So just, just, just let it go. You know? Just let it go. Some things are not in your control. It's like, it's not for you to figure out everything. The, you know, I listened to a dude named... Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's an astrophysicist, and he says something along the lines of the universe has no obligation to make sense to you. And I took that to heart. Like, even though you try, you try, you try to figure something out, some things are just simply out of your control. And you got to learn to accept that. We definitely do live into a wacky wonderland. Oh, that's what I want to show you upside down. <clears throat> and then for what we got coming up is the Nine of Cups. Y'all see the Nine of Cups? I got to get a better camera. I know it. The Nine of Cups is a man. Look. The universe got your back. You the universe, baby. I understand. Like you spoiled. You spoiled. I get it. You spoiled. The universe spoils you. I get it. And even if you're doing wrong or even if you're messing up, the universe is kind of like, yeah, I got you. Cause look, you got the Queen of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups. You get to a spot in your life where you trust in the universe. You're sitting with all your cups. You lay back like, uh, you feel me? You get to a point where you trust in it and believe in it to what the universe is showing you. But that don't mean you can't maneuver through this world of fortune now. Just because you trapped in this little rabbit hole or you diving through this little rabbit hole don't mean you can't be like this. I'm going to be like this, sliding through it. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm the queen. I'm the queen of swords. You feel what I'm saying? I'm the queen of swords. I'm, 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 ugh, I'm, I'm powerful. I'm strong. And I got a cat paw and a sword in my hand if anybody wants something. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm in that kind of energy. So no matter what, no matter what this is, no matter what's going on with this, no matter what's going on with that Wheel of Fortune, I know I'm standing there, Queen of Swords, Nine of Cups energy. And that's crazy because it's like, okay, I'm going through this. I'm going through this. I'm going through this circle. I'm going, I'm going through this rabbit hole. But I am intuitive. And I'm loved by the universe. That's a very good reason. I took some notes. I, I, I Let me see if there was something else I wanted to tell y'all. Because I had wrote some stuff down. <clears throat> hmm. And that kind of goes along with this reading too. Don't be scared. Like, I. Right. This, this, this for my Leos. This for my Leos for real. I ain't trying to sing to y'all out of nothing, but look, 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 for real, for real. For, like, like for my Leo family and friends, coming from a Pisces, coming from my Pisces, look, you can have and use my stuff. You can do that. You can do that. But don't be so prideful, Leo, that you, you don't ask for them. Like, just don't take them, Leo. Like, Come on, just because I'm your friend and we're cool and you feel obligated to my things, you still got to ask for them first. 
Okay. But I, I'm, that's not any particular Leo. It's, I, there's, there's, there's a, okay, Leo is not the only one, like, okay, like, uh, Sagittarius, like, let me, hey, Sagittarius, look, let me tell you something, let me tell you something, Sagittarius, it's okay to be in the middle of things, it's okay, <laughs> it's okay to play the middle sometimes, it is, like, I. Right. With a Sagittarius, it's just like y'all either hit the mark or y'all don't. And it's crazy because it's like, all right, you go to a Sagittarius house, it's either she got OCD or her house completely messed up. Her, him, oh, her, him, I, whatever, whatever gender. Just saying, it's either you completely that or you completely not. You can, you can swerve in the middle a little bit. You ain't got to be... Oh, uh, I love y'all though, Leo. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius. I love y'all. Don't don't get me wrong. Like I said, I'm a Pisces. Y'all feel like I'm emotional. Y'all feel like I be. I get that. I understand. We. I'm I'm dreamy. I get it. But Leo, come on, man. You you ask me, ask me, because that, that that's what that's that's. Being in this nine of cups energy, you feel what I'm saying? The, it's okay to ask for help, delegate. You know what I'm saying? You got all these cups, use them. Why not? You know what I'm saying? You 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 have resources, you have friends, you have buddies, but you know what? Sometimes not. Not talking about Leo no more. I'm talking in general. Like sometimes your pride can get in the way of asking for help because you don't want to seem like you're the type of person that just asks for stuff all the time. Which is true. You should ask for help sparingly. But if you really need something and you have true friends, then that shouldn't be a problem. Anyway. I'm gonna get dressed because I gotta go to work. That's what I should have did though. I should I should have did some advice for work today because them folks be tripping. Anyway, y'all have a good night or morning or whichever one it is.